knock, time to knock, time to knock this out. Alright. Time to feed these hungry uh, Steam Deck and Linux gamers a little bit. Another beautiful day. Yup. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? You know, the, the tribe, nation, universe, world, legion. What's good? Mom, what's happening? Squad, what's up? Nerds, geeks, and freaks. And you investigators. Oh, and by the way, I had three videos that I did earlier, and I forgot to put them out. <laughs> but I'm going to try to knock this out and, and then drop all four of them on you. There. All right, what do we got? Let's see, this is a day ago? Hmm. Okay, Doom, Voxel Doom 2 gets update with parallax textures. And Eve, Eve Eternity 2 is a massive 36 map. Mega Ward for Doom 2? Huh. Well, Doom, uh, Doom players are loving this. <laughs> anyway, you yeah, Doom players from the, from the early 90s. Mm -hmm. All right. Says Voxel Doom gets update with parallax textures continuing the Day of Doom announcement following the release of Seagill 2. We'll also have a big picture update to Voxel Doom 2. What is Voxel Doom 2? Is a follow up to the 2022 award winning Voxel Doom. This is a new graphic mod that replaces monsters, weapons, props, and items with full 3D. Uh, Voxel models. It replaces all monsters from both Doom, t Doom and Doom 2. The latest uh, update version 2.2 released date December 9th upgrades. It's with parallax textures, and you can see it show off a bit in their new trailer. All right, mm. all right. So, okay, all right. Next article. That's what we got here. Let me see if I can get through this. All right. Okay. That's Voxel Doom. Okay. Here's another one. Eve Eternity is a, is a massive 36 map mega ward for Doom 2. Not enough Doom in your life? <laughs> I hope I'll try now the massive release of Eve Eternity 2. A full 36 map mega ward sequel to, um, uh, to Eve Eternity. It says here uh, Eve Eternity is a full 36 map mega ward sequel to Eve, Eve Eternity com comprised of six five map chapters which Additionally, secret levels making massive use of newly updated builds of the o OTX texture pack be released as a standalone texture pack in the future. Eve Eternity 6 chapter and explores the secrets and unique and a uh, series of unique and varied theme continued on where you left off after the Agra Ar the Arcangelus. Uh, defeat. All right. Hmm. Okay, Doom players, behave yourself. All right. <laughs> Doom. Anyway, okay. Linux Mint. All right. Yeah, that's, that's operating system. Along Linux Mint XFCE Ubuntu. You get the picture. Okay. Linux Mint twenty-one point three is due to release soon, with the first beta now available coming. Cinnamon 6.0 desktop with experimental Wayland support. Don't expect Wayland with Cinnamon to work all that well right now, though, as they said, it still lack various features and has a limitation, but they want to ready it up as soon as possible, although they still like not to plan to be dealt even in Mint2.x, 22.x, so it's a while away to replace Xorg. All right. All you Linux Mint users, says your uh, Cinnamon also has various improvements, including including 75% uh, scaling as back Windows uh, op opacity uh, key binding is back. Stylus button can be disabled. The monitor used for notification is now configured. Menu apps can be edited. Right click properties. Gesture new desktop zoom action. Gestures you can now specify what an action trigger is. <laughs> Sounds applet, new shift, middle, uh, click action, group window list, new option to not show anything when hovering on app button, new species, new spice, was it spice? <laughs> Add on support for right click action menu in the Nemo Fire, Nemo File Manager. Alright, 
says the file sharing application or Pinator also gains some new tricks like able to manually connect to another device by its IP or by scanning a QR code and it says there hypo hype hype high no ticks uh, TV viewer app also gain no features like f a favorite uh, channel create custom channel and it can update its own version of YT dip uh, YT dash DLP for YouTube changes Linux Mint <laughs> you know Linux Mint S XFCE Ubuntu oh they're, they're, they're all they're all they're always getting updates you know oh yeah all right what else we got keep it me keep it moving here let's see uh, ton tunnet as you dig deep underground while you build and debug a big network hmm T-U-N-N-E-T, -N -N -E Tenet, says build and debug optimized computer networking and underground facility. Tenet is, a, tenet is sent certainly something quite different. It's, it's out now. Have you ever wanted to be lonely, unpaid network technician who work 24-7 in an underground facility? <laughs> the developer asked, well, I can't say I have. And now there's a slight freaky looking game for it. Mm. That, but that's for those computer nerds though. It says they're uh, equipped, with, uh, equipped with a drill to let you dig through tunnels to find and connect up various bunkers. You'll need to keep an eye out for anything, apparently. Things like to lurk in the dark. Hmm? As you progress, you'll learn more mon you, you will earn more money, but it will get a bit more complicated over time with all the networking and things can go wrong. And it says, and will, and probably will. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Tenet is T-U-N-N-E-T. -E okay? All right. Let's see. What is, what is this game? It says, uh, game features build, optimize, debug, computer network in a first-person 3D environment. Um, dig tunnels to access the different bunkers and connect them to the network. Explore the facility and unveil the secrets of underground complex. Find a way to access computer guarded by creepy monsters and that haunt the bunker so basically this game is teaching you how to be a network administrator just saying okay <laughs> so yeah uh, give it a go it's called tunnet it's t-u-n-n-e-t all right keep mo keep moving here what else we got let's see here uh cassette beast get a new multiplayer feature teaser update coming early 2024 what do we got? All right, says here, uh, Cassette Beast is probably one of the mo one of the best modern creature collecting game around. Early in 2024, it's getting online multiplayer. This update was due this year, but they said it needed a little more time in uh, in the oven to get it right. Not heard of it before. It's a Steam Deck verified and Linux native from the developer uh, Bitten uh, Studio. Released in April 2023, it's current, it, it current, currently has an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. You collect ranged monsters with old cassette tapes <laughs> and use fusion system to combine any two monsters together to make tons of different forms. After getting a number of questions on the upcoming online update, they release a quick teaser. All right. And this game says when you're playing online, you'll be able to party up with up to eight different friends. All visible in your world, battle with your friends, even assign custom rules to the battle, such as enabling, disabling sticker attributes, trade tapes with each other, team up for raid battles against rogue fusion. And this game this game is available available in the humble store and Steam. And it's called Cassette Beast. Hmm. Alright. What's the other one? So yeah, build up build up and higher in Stellar's <laughs> Linux, Linux gaming community got some games. Say so build up and hire in Stellar, Stellar Settler, a colony sim with vertical building. This one has certainly made me curious. Tiny mice, <laughs> tiny mice entertainment. <laughs> Email over info Stellar, uh, set, uh, Stellar uh, Settler, a space-based colony um, sim. With a twist, you keep building vertically while most similar games have you spread out more and more. 
here you're going higher and higher again with unique vertical horizontal base building gameplay take control of settlements build your own thriving colony on five hostile planet each earn profit buy parts and build a better starship colonize even richer planets and repeat hmm. well this game will go handy with starfield so uh, for you space lovers you love planets okay you love to explore okay <laughs> says here uh, the developer mentioned uh, clearly they're ensuring all updates to its are thoroughly tested on Linux and Steam Deck as an early access release is planned for March 2024 initially with five planets they plan to double that to 10 through one year of early access to provide regular addition to the game content that's on top of planet of plans for more structures building pods settler characters and more and check out the steam page for stellar settlers yep yeah. all right what else we got for you little steam deck nerds okay Val valve announced more steam sale event for 2024 <laughs> okay say so valve announced more steam sale and events for 2024 while valve while valve uh, already revealed a few of the sealed events happening on Steam in 2024. They now today reveal a bunch more. Mentioned in the Steam World developer blog post, they're going big in 2024. Here's all the events planned for all no, for for the first half of 2024. <laughs> okay, Capitalism and Economy Fest, January 8th through 15th. Pirates vs Ninja Fest, January 22nd through 29th. Next, next fest February 12, February 5th through 12th. Remote play together February 12th through 19th. Dinos versus Robot Fest February 26th through March 4th. A spring sale March 14th through the 21st. Save your nickels, dimes, pennies, and quarter for that one. <laughs> uh, Deck Builder Fest March 25th through April 1st. Additional events FPS Fest April 15th through the 22nd. Farming Fest April 29th through May 6th. Endless Re Replayability Fest May 13th through 20th. Open World Survival Crafting Fest May 20 no May 27th ju through ju June 3rd. Next Fest June 10th through the 17th. Summer Sale July I mean June 27th through July 11th. Yeah. And it's uh, <clears throat> what about this year? <laughs> Says here, uh, we'll still have the Steam Winter Sale to come in December 21st. December 21st. So look out for that. <laughs> oh yeah, Val Valve is moving. <laughs> Valve is crazy. All right, what else we got? <laughs> See, okay, uh, Dusk HD plus SDK and Steam Workshop out now. Need, needs Proton and Linux slash Steam Deck. All right. Says here. Uh, David uh, Z Zemanski, New Blood Interactive released Dust HD as a free DLC for the retro FPS, but you will need Proton to play it on Linux desktop and Steam Deck. It's been released as a free open uh, uh, optional DLC, so you only have to play remastered version if you want to from the release announcement. They mentioned that Dust HD start as a fun way to beef up the Dusk Steam Workshop soon evolved into a full-blown visual remaster thanks to the hard work of a group of very talented developers at New Blood. So now there now there's Dust HD and SDK modders and Steam Workshop support look like their original native Linux version, which which is what Valve picks for Steam Deck verified badge as not seen any updates so if you want to try it out try out any of the fancy new stuff on Linux Steam Deck you'll need to manually swap the game over to Proton to do so all right <clears throat> and this game is called Dusk HD all right what else do I that's it all right you can get this on the humble store in Steam all right what else what else we got See Humble bring back their cozy game collection bundle. News, deals, games, updates. 
the usual stuff. All right. Humble store. What you got? Cat Cave Manager. Garden Story. Alba. Wildfire. A Short Hike. Assemble with Care. Lemon Cake. Here comes Nico. Witchy Life Story. Humble, uh, humble Store. Go to the Humble Store to get your games. Deals. Anyway. <laughs> All right. What else I got? Let's go on through this. All right, Bill Retro, Bill, Bill a Retro Linux Gaming Computer Part 26. Nah, skip that one. Okay, let's see here. Fanatical has some great bundle going right now. You don't need, you don't want to miss. All right, Fanatical, I just hit you with Humble. Now Fanatical it says here. Uh, okay, what what they got? Fanatical. Okay, Winter Special. What you can grab some big games together for cheap split across two for 14 three for 21 five for 34.99 and seven for 47.99 all right what what they got let's see here we got dead stranding director's cut ghostwire tokyo control ultimate edition disco elysium forgotten city necro necromunda hired guns bzzt <laughs> uh die dismantle uh, Spin Rhythm XD, Homebody, uh, Gordian Quest, Phoenix uh, Right, Ace Attorney Trilogy, Resident Evil 3, A, Pale, A Plague Tale, Innocence, Fallout, 70, Fallout 76, The Pit Deluxe Edition, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Ghost Runner, Greedfall, Entroph Entrophy, uh, Sentry, uh, Sprawl, Hammer Watch 2, and Asserter Quartza Competizion. Com racing <laughs> and those are and those are the games for winter special so it's, it says go back and check out fanatical prestige collection so yeah deals news deals games updates the steam deck way all right <laughs> so you got your fanatical and your humble bundle to deal with there all right keep moving here uh, what do we got the uh, Steam Desk, Steam Deck, and Desktop Steam Stable update brings more bug fixes. I think I did this yesterday. Yep. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I already did this yesterday, so that's done. All right. What else we got? Keep moving here. Um. The Garden Path, a quiet life sim about the joy of gardening. So you want to learn how to garden, huh? All right, we got a game for you. <laughs> says here, uh, the garden path was originally due to release earlier this year, but the developer pushed it back to continue improving it, and now you can now you can again grab an early copy with a full release window. While most of the content com is complete, they're working out some performance kink to ensure the release is great. So... Now their plan is to have it ready for spring 2024, and it says more about it. The Garden Path is a slice of life gardening, gardening sim, sim that celebrate small moments no matter how you decide to play. The Garden is a tender world of familiar sight and sound, mysteries and friendly faces, a space to call your own, to crusade and to reflect, designed to be played in short bursts. As as and when you wish, in time, the garden path running concert with the outside world stopped by to wonder your garden whenever the mood takes you and find new traveler events, activities, and distraction wait, waiting for you each day. Take your time, play for a little while, and experience it all at your own, pay, own pace. And it says... The, it's called the Garden Path, and it says, um, additionally, they've opened up a few beta keys for purchase on Ichko page. At the time of writing, there are only 184 left. If you wish to support the development, check check it out early. It gives you the full release since they're since they will just continue to update it there. Um, it will have native Linux support and release on Ichko and Steam. It's called the Garden Path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Steam Linux has some games. To, Linux Linux gamers have some games to play, man. <laughs> All right.
what else we got? Open source evolution sim thrive as new physics engine and big performance upgrade. All right. Almost done here. It says here, thriving in thriving is an in development early access open source evolution sim. Much like life itself, it continues to evolve. In a new release version 0.64, brings changes to ensure the foundation is solid. With the release, the developer do say there's not a lot new to show in terms of gameplay, but it was focused on a massive rework and functionality of Thrive background process, which includes a brand new physics engine complete with better performance. So they can't show much that looks new. It should be smoother sailing from here out. Given all the changes, it should provide better performance too. And what else they got? Let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> some of the big changes. Oh yeah. Refactor uh, microbe gameplay code use an entity component system, ECS architecture and a different physics engine. This took up the vast majority of the time spent on these release. As a result of this, many things in the game will feel slightly different and there will definitely be new bugs that have slipped past, past us. We will attempt to quickly fix any new bugs introduced in this, I mean, new bugs introduced with this change. The game performance is now 20 to 100% better than before thanks to ECS and physics rework, different benchmark parts have different improvement and different gameplay condition also have different performance gain. Improve auto evo performance by about 50%. Add a native C++ library for Thrive that has the physics engine integrated for now, but we can in the future move computation heavy parts of the game. There's that might benefit performance Add to new context uh, specific microbe tracks that can play instead of normal microbe ambience when in those specific path, I mean patch uh, types. And then it added a Thrive, Thrivopedia page for each uh, organ, organelles currently in the game. Add early multi uh, uh, cellular uh, free build mode. Improve the visual of the organism statics panel and added update related to tool uh, tip icon as well added 3d pa panorama panorama background for various patch types for the late multicellular underwater pa part these were completed a, a while ago but they were never accessible in game until now various ai improvements and lots of bug fixes and you can get this game on steam and you can download it direct via Flat Hub, yeah. And it says they're also looking to eventually port it from Go.3 to Go.4. Well, game industry moves, keeps moving. <laughs> and this game is called uh, Thrive. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what else I got for you? Let's see here. What else we got? Heroes of Might and Magic. Three uh, game engine VCMI get some bug improvement. <laughs> Video games are always growing, you know. Work to do. All right, says here while we have uh, Pharaohs uh, of Heroes of Might and Magic 2, we also have VCMI for Heroes of Might and Magic and Might and Magic 3, which also continues to advance as a free and open source cross-platform game engine re-implementation recently the team behind VCMI released version 1.4.0 and 1.4.1 shortly after to fix up some issues the list of what is new is rather long sounds like very pretty necessary addition to including a high score screen tracking of complete campaign vsync support for vsync support a tutorial a video for winning, losing smaller, save files, mod compatibility, check when loading a save, simultaneous turn support for multiplayer, various AI improvements, and so much more. 
and you can get this you said check out the official site on their github and you need you need the original game for the data file which you can grab on gog all right and that is might heroes of might and magic three all right what else we got Let's see if I think I'm almost done here let's see here oh, yeah I got got two more articles <laughs> 25 minutes, eh, not bad. All right, Windblown is the next gen game from the Dead Cell team. Mm. All right, what else we got? Says here, uh, as a huge fan of Dead Cell, I'm keen to see what Motion Twin are cooking up with Windblown due to release in 2024 in early access, and it looks pretty well. Their description of it certainly amu amusing too. Windblown is what happens when a roguelike game guzzles a whole lot of energy drinks <laughs> hit the gym and wear treadmill and wears treadmills on its feet it got combat that zips by lightning speed and we've tossed in some eye-popping shiny clouds and, and gravity defiant islands for, for good measures think of it as dead cell hyperactive uh, sibling spinning in a 3d sugar rush and the windblown players become le um, lepers, warriors fighting to protect their home, the Ark, from the gigantic and deadly vortex, and the sentinel, sentinel minions, like a bolt of lightning, player freely dash through stunning open stages where each run is teeming with secret to undercover. Players will be challenged to overcome the odds and Relentless battles against the Vortex Sentinel, hell bent on taking them down and starting their run anew. You'll be able to do it solo or online in three player co op sessions. And this game is you can you can find it on Steam. <laughs> yeah. You guys are good. <laughs> okay, alright. What else I got? Alright. Now, last but not least. Let's see here. Humble brings back a bunch of puzzle games in a limited time. <laughs> All right. See, news, deals, games, updates, the usual stuff. All right. What do you got? What Humble has again? Baba is you, Dork, Dorfomatic, <laughs> Dark, Dark U Complete Edition, Moment Valley Panoramic Edition, New Manu. Mon Monument Valley 2 Panoramic Edition uh, Last uh, last Campfire and Creeks and they're all Proton DB Steam Deck playable Steam Deck uh, verified there <laughs> yeah so you got your um, you got your deals you got your news you got your games and you got your updates so yeah that's all I got to report Linux, Linux, Linux game, Linux wise and um, and uh, Steam Deck wise, <laughs> yeah, you guys are um, you guys are good. News, deals, games, updates, yeah, the usual stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you again next time. Nice talking to you, people again. Chris, still Star Wars, the Star Trek thing. Boy, dark side. Oh God.